Look how beautiful. Yes. Guys, this is so good. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Wait, they're both... Welcome back to another vlog. I got my morning started. We went to solid core this morning. I actually brought Jay with me and it was it was a really fun time taking the class with him. It's so much harder than it seems. And I don't know, you guys should try a solid core class. Like I'm over there shaking. Anyways, got my morning started, made my coffee, had breakfast. And now we're back home. I just showered, got ready because I have some things to film for brands. Oh, by the way, Mr. Pia is home. He was on a 10 day like off-roading, camping trip with his cousin. But now he's back. He brought me some flowers. Look how pretty these ones are. So cute. So I'm just gonna open that right now. The Solid Core Studio is right by like the little mystery box store that I get all my little mix mystery boxes from. So I wanted to go back because now I feel I'm addicted because I bought a bunch more. And I'll post them on my TikTok of me like unboxing them, but I'll show you guys what I got in here in the vlog. Oh, also I have the best Nespresso recipe. I'm posting it, I'm uploading it on my TikTok right now. I'll also show you guys in the vlog. I already made it this morning, but guys, I've been playing around with a bunch of recipes because you know, I just got my Nespresso and I wanna play around with it. And I have the best one in my opinion. It's kind of a mix between a brown sugar shaken espresso and Vietnamese coffee because Vietnamese coffee has condensed milk. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I make it in this vlog so that you guys can make your lattes. So good, I literally wake up in the morning and crave it. It's what, it's what I go to, I go to bed and I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to make my coffee in the morning. Ow, fuck. Okay, beautiful. Hey guys, I'm currently doing my nails. I got this DND gel polishes and I, I'm actually so obsessed. <laughs> I really am, this is not sponsored. Although I am doing a partnership with them on my TikTok. They sent me so many of their gel nail polishes and I actually made this swatch stick, which is pretty cool. I feel like I'm in an official salon, but I actually did these swatches and I wrote the names of them. These are the gel polishes that I got from them and I am doing this color, cream peach. I just did this hand. Look how beautiful. And it's so easy. So this is the gel polish and then it comes with a base gel and then a top gel. And then I have my LED UV light thing, which is an automatic sensor like the ones in the salons where you just put your hand in and it, amazing. So I'm really excited because I really want to get into just not going to the nail salon as much. So yeah, I'm gonna like play around. This is my first time using a gel like with the LED light and all that stuff at home. I've always done either press-ons, stick-ons, all that stuff. I've never actually done the whole gel thing, but this is kind of a game changer. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm doing the base gel. The only thing that I'm concerned about is how am I going to take this off? Because I know on the nail salon, they have the little zzz things that take off the gel. I don't have that or I feel like maybe I can just buy that because it looks kind of easy to take it off, but I don't know. Again, I've never done that whole thing or honestly, I'll just wear the gel long enough that I pick on it and I pick it out <laughs> because that's what usually happens when I wear when I have gel polish, I just end up picking my nails and then peeling off the gel. And then it's like a fresh start, you know? So I could also do that. My nails also are not that long. They were long and then I bit them all and now they're pretty short, but I kind of love how they're short. Um, okay, so base gel and then we put it in here. I had Jay pick out this color. I really love this um, swatch stick thing. I'm probably gonna do it for some more swatches tonight because this is so cool. And the colors are so pretty, they're so vibrant. I'm excited for fall because they gave me some really pretty fall colors. Look how pretty that is. I'm excited for the spice brown. I was low key thinking about doing the spice brown or the mocha cherry, but I feel like I should wait <laughs> until fall for those. And then after, the base gel, cream peach, like the actual gel polish. This color is so pretty. And I'm just painting this on. And they have so many 
colors to choose from as well. This is not sponsored, but I'm just letting you guys know if you guys also want to get your nails done at home and you want the whole gel, the gel vibe. <laughs> It's the next day. Actually, I'm heading to the coffee shop because we haven't had Wi-Fi for the past two days. So that's been great. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the hurricane. I just know there's um, a spectrum-wide outage in Texas. So a lot of us don't have like internet, TV, or anything. So yeah, just making the most out of it. I haven't really been doing anything because as you guys know, my job is on social media and my cellular data it's not that strong <laughs> here so yeah i've just been kind of just cleaning around the house getting some chores done it's crazy the things that you can get done when you're not on social media <laughs> but yeah i actually have to get a lot of work stuff done and i haven't had internet i'm gonna head over to black rock coffee and hopefully they have internet because i know some stores and businesses also don't have or are slow or don't have like internet so uh, it might be difficult yeah that's just kind of what i've been dealing with and you know very small problem is <laughs> to not have wi-fi but i do have to get some work done because that is what i do for a living so i'm gonna head to the coffee shop probably only go there for like an hour or two to just catch up on some emails submit some things and review a few things but also look how cute my nails are i'm obsessed with them the color is so pretty I'm like, dang, I really need to just do my nails at home because gel, this is gel anyway, and it looks so good. So yeah, D&D nails. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my iced coffee. Ugh, guys, it's so good, you have to try it at home. Okay, first off, we're gonna get a double espresso or just like one shot, doesn't matter, just whatever, Keurig, Nespresso, doesn't really matter. But if you have an espresso, I'm using the Dolce double espresso. So, there. Okay, before we brew our shot, here's my espresso glass. These are so cute. I got some comments about it. It's from Home Goods. I have my tub of brown sugar here, and I'm just gonna take a spoonful of brown sugar. Spoonful of brown sugar. Then I'm gonna use some condensed milk. This is the squeezy tube, so it's easier to put in the coffee. I'm just gonna squeeze a bit out in there. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna brew the shot over it. It might overflow, but so far it's just been very at the top. Um, so, yeah. While that is brewing, we're gonna make the milk. Look, since it's a double espresso, it does almost overflow <laughs> because of the brown sugar and condensed milk, but period. Yes. We're gonna take some milk. I like to take the Chobani Extra Creamy. I'm gonna take my glass. Probably like up to there. And then I'm gonna add some vanilla syrup. I know it seems like there's a lot of syrups and sweeteners going on, but it's really not as sweet as you think it is. Maybe because it's a double espresso, so it's a little more coffee. Whereas if I just did one shot instead of the two shots, it would be a little like more sweet. Anyways, I'm just gonna use like that much of vanilla syrup. Then I'm gonna froth it. And since this is the Chobani Extra Creamy, it gets really frothy, so I don't froth it for that long. Okay, so we have our a little bit sweetened milk. Here it comes now. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my espresso shot. Before I pour it into the milk, I'm actually gonna stir it. This makes the espresso so good, guys. Look how pretty that color is. Okay, now that we have our espresso, we have our milk, and then we're just gonna pour it right in and i like to do this without the ice so that it kind of cools it down and then when i put the ice in it doesn't melt the ice now i'm gonna just add ice on top and then i'm just gonna add some cold foam creamer this is the french vanilla one just on top then let's get a straw <laughs> guys this is so good there's my little coffee recipe Try it, tag me in it. I can't wait to see you guys recreate it. I'm obsessed with it, it's so good. My sister's here. Hi. <laughs> We're setting up the giveaway boxes. Congratulations. And then we just opened a bunch of PR. So you'll be able to see that on my stories. We got a bunch of things. 
I'm excited to show y'all. Look at my little sunny angel. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm gonna show you the mystery boxes that I got. I wanna do a little haul because I have so many that I'm gonna unbox. Okay, first of all, I got some Smee skis. Is this how you even say it? I've just been saying it like Smee skis. So uh, you guys commented on my TikTok and like, you guys, you need to get some Smee skis. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go try it. So this one is the living room series. And these are all the different, oh, and these are all the different ones that you can get. They're also glow in the dark, by the way. And then this one is the bed, the bedtime series. These are the ones that you can get. So I got those. I got another Sunny Angel, the Hippers. This is the only one that they have in a lot of the toy stores that I went, just this series. So I actually ordered the different series on the Sony Angels website. So I'm excited for those to come in. I got this, this Pandaroll Dopamine Pandas. I don't know. Oh my gosh. This one is an animal roll. You can get a little panda roll, kitty roll, puppy roll. Look at all the options that you can get. Oh my god! And then I got two more of the Animal Bakery. As we saw, we got the panda one. I'm really excited because I want to get all the rest of them. They're all so cute. I love this series. This one might be one of my favorite mystery unboxing ones. And then I got another one of the Creepy Bakery. I had the strawberry shortcake one. I really want the ones that, the ones up here, the first row. I really want these. Okay, here we go. Squeeze it. Ready? What? <laughs> oh, this is the one that leans against something. Wait, wait. Like you can put this leaning against a book, your computer. Look at this one. My boy, my boy got head trauma. Aw, that one's so cute. Okay, now the bedtime series. <laughs> Look. He looks like he just woke up, got out of bed. Look at this one. That one is so cute. Sunny Angels Hippers Looking Back series. Let's see which one we got. I got the duck one before. Hopefully I don't get a duplicate. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Wait, they're both matching because they're wearing yellow hats. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. Also, my other Sunny Angel, its head was turned really back. Like way around and I, I just moved it a little bit, but oh my gosh, now they have a friend. Okay, I'm so excited for this. Animal Bakery Mystery Box. Let's unbox it. Last time I got the panda. I really want to get honestly anything from this series, so. <gasps> Wait, this one is so cute. It's so tiny. It's way smaller than my panda one. My panda bun is that one was thick. Oh my gosh, what's this? Come to a little bone. Another bone. Okay, second one. Oh. oh my gosh, these ones have little accessories. This is the best thing ever. Look at this. Oh. I'm gonna unbox the other ones another time because I don't wanna unbox them all and lose my serotonin. You know? Guys, look at these glasses I just got. Oh my gosh. This one's got a ribbon on it. This one's got cherries. Bees? Are we joking? Okay, this one, I love this one. It has little squirrels. Oh my god. And then little mushrooms. These I just ordered from Anthropology. They are so, so cute. And they're actually really, really nice quality. And they're way bigger. Like, okay, let me show you. This is the size of one of them. And I'll show you a regular glass I have. Can you kind of tell? This is a typical, normal, you know, where you put your iced coffees, whatever. Look how wide it is. It's the perfect latte cup, lemonade cup, matcha cup. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And this glass is thick. I kind of want to make another coffee right now. <laughs> They're so thinking cute. Okay, so yeah, I just got these off of Anthropology. They also had a bunch of other ones too. They had hearts, some pink ribbons, red ribbons. Uh, it was so hard for me to choose. And honestly, I was just gonna get two or three. I ended up with five because there were just so many cute options. And these are just gonna be my designated coffee matcha cups. And I know everyone who's gonna come over and make coffee and everything, they're gonna, they're gonna be obsessed. finished packing i'm about to shower get myself ready for bed and then yeah i feel like 
It's been a pretty busy day today. Also, I haven't really vlogged that much, but yeah, I'm excited to go home. The next vlog is gonna be heading home and it's gonna be really fun because we're all gonna be together and I have some surprise gifts for Paula and you guys are just gonna have to go watch that vlog because it's gonna be so exciting when I have surprise for her. So yeah, I'm gonna shower, get ready for bed and then we're heading to Jersey. So I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.